Hello everybody and welcome to Hell, Norway. We are going to be doing a autocross, uh, what would you call it, event? Uh, several races back-to-back -back qualifying and such. Uh, flash the rules briefly on the screen here for you to read. If you want, you can pause it. But basically, we're going to be racing a combination of bots and real people, drivers online. So it should make for an interesting race. Unfortunately, I didn't have everybody no, muted, but it made for some entertainment. It made for some entertainment, so... That's the last thing you want to hear. Ready. Thankfully, he's not in my heat. So, uh, in the Subaru today, it's been a while since I've played this game. Like, maybe over a year, or around a year. So, it's going to be fun getting back into it. I remember these cars tend to understeer like crazy. I had a little practice beforehand, but I haven't played on Hell yet, so... Off to a pretty good start, honestly. Stayed within the limits, going around the Joker's corner, got it out of the way. And these are all bots, I believe, in this heat, so uh, it's just a matter of getting past them and getting a decent enough time to qualify for the next heat. Should go pretty smoothly. Taking that corner very nicely, very quickly. Almost staying within the limits there, the white line, if you want to care. It's not, it's not legal to go past it, but if you have standards, it's a nice base, like a baseline. Uh, speaking of standards, there's none right there in that corner, taking it very narrow, uh, coming up the rear and at the rear end of the, the guy in front of me, the bot. And then just turning across too soon, basically tipping myself into that semi-truck there. And, uh, thankfully, nothing seems to be broken. I remember stuff breaking fairly easily, uh, easily in Dirt 4 and Dirt Rally. Uh, so I was pretty thankful I didn't even lose a tire or get a flat or anything there. Caught right back up. Stay on the box. Taking that corner very wide there, which can cost you a couple seconds, it feels like. If you don't tip it in soon and get your nose right up against the apex, it, uh, it can cost you. And here you really want to send it deep and then third gear power your way up. And right once you get to the top, you can switch to fourth and just ring it out. Getting a decent breaking point here, giving my uh, little opponent there a nice nudge into the joker. It's always nice to help out. Almost stop in there to make sure I don't go wide, but get around the corner nicely, take off, and basically secure first for the first heat. So not a bad start. We made it to round two, no problem. And uh, you can see right here at the end. You have good pressure, man. All yeah, dude, you're all over. Uh, all right the humans there. qualified top five. Go to figure. NPCs, number two. Humans, number one. So be it. For now. I'm not 2020. Trying to, I'm not trying to hit the Subaru. <laughs> well, fuck this Subaru. Just drive right in the side of him. Ah, uh, that's not what you want to hear. So, uh, we got a bit of radiator damage. I'm not sure how that came about, but, um... Was totally the semi truck. Uh, so it's fixed, good as new. As you can see there, brand new. On to the second heat. You can see I'm the best looking Subi in the bunch now. Everybody else went with the uh, the symmetrical look. I went with the asymmetrical sort of body panels. Can you hear me? And no, we can hear. And away we go. Green lights. We're off to a pretty good start. Not bad. And uh, with this guy on the inside, we're just gonna go take the Joker and clear out of the way. And actually take a very nice, tidy inside line leaving him plenty of space on the outside. Bumps me a little wide here. Not the end of the world. I actually managed to get a cutback on him, which you I never thought I'd say in a dirt rally game. That little bit of contact, though, unsettles the car, and I can't quite seal the position. Get a nice run around this corner, and catch up to legit a little bit. So, not the worst start. We got a guy in our sight. Everybody else is still battling up in front, so they have time that can be lost. The problem with this game is, not this game, but these the problem either. Uh, the thing about these tracks is you can only get so good and then it's just a matter of getting lucky during the race, hoping the race sort of unfolds in your favor. So if someone gets out in front, usually they're very hard to catch unless they make a mistake. But for the most part, uh, you know, there seems to be a point where everybody's setting the same lap time and uh, you really have to hope for racing incidents and battles to sort of cause something. We get really lucky on that Joker exit so there and get out in front of this fella. We sleeve a slight point to the rear end, not the end of the world, and then take this corner very nicely. A little tap of the handbrake. I'm using the controller in this, so a little B button. Uh, very sketchy because it's full on or full off. This friend is, <laughs> this guy decides to take his friend's advice and just ricochets off him like it's no big deal. 
Takes a terrible line here, and I end up just crashing into him. Very sketchy physics there. All-wheel drive life. We're all just twitching all over the track. I would have liked to have murdered him there, but unfortunately... He's running my line! He's running my line! He's running my line! I've heard of people being uh, on someone's racing line before, not in front of it, but um, interesting to hear. <laughs> Legit's got my back, man. If it weren't so loud, I would have known that. I didn't hear what he said at the time, though. That was pretty funny. I get double smashed there. That's got plan B guy. I watched him spawn, and he got to a speed quicker than me in like half a second. These cars are insane. I don't know why, though, he goes off not just to take a joker, but sliding out wide. I'll be lucky if that joker counts. And uh, we went from looking at uh, eyeballing a first position down to fourth here. So uh, I wasn't too happy about it at the time, and I, I did this a little. Oh, that guy didn't even turn. He's fucking real. <laughs> yeah, some for real. That really happened. So maybe I was in the wrong there. Maybe that was a little excessive of, like, you know, a bit much of a reaction. But I needed that third place, so I can feel good about that one. I have no problem feeling good about good that race. one. <laughs> I would have been fucking annihilated. That's good. The stewards decided not to punish... <laughs> no punishment from the stewards either. Clearly, I have bribed the stewards. This is a paid-for event by me. I'm sponsoring it. <laughs> so here we go. On to the... Uh, what is this? The semifinals? One sec. Wait for it. Yeah, the semifinals. Off we go. So this is a mix of bots and people. We uh, start at the very back, so this cluster we're in right now is all bots, and those two guys out in front, those were the real people. So again, taking the Joker, just getting away from the traffic. Those bots can cost you so much time. They stop in the most unpredictable ways. So I, I have no fear about catching up or losing any time to them by taking the Joker right away. Just get out of the way, I get all this clean air, and look at that. Two corners later, and they're... They're shed away. Very tidy line through there. I'm going to get a lot of speed up this hill. It's hard to see through the dust. We get a nice little opening up the inside, but I back out. And uh, a bit of a traffic jam going up the hill here. We have very different styles, the bots and I. They don't complement each other very well. Luckily, I get past them and uh, get to focus on legit. An actual... No, that's Nemi, sorry. So the people are even further. Whoa, that's a guy whoa. just going off screen there. Something's going on in one of the other heats, we don't have to worry about that. But I just have to get this bot out of the way. You can see, like, the bots just don't send it. I don't know if there's, like, a difficulty level you can turn it up to where they do send it, but those bots are not sending it. They're like a new driver. Third place. Could not catch up to the people, but uh, it's enough to get me legitimately into the finals. I, I don't know what would have happened if I didn't qualify there. Would they have put a bot in and made me watch from the bleachers? I don't know. Real rally sim. So starting in the back, no big deal. Back's a good place to be sometimes. For example, you could rear-end the guy not paying attention at the tree, and it doesn't really cost you a position because you're already last. Getting rammed wide by the bot here, and I was a little nervous for a second because if you cut when you enter a joker, sometimes it will disqualify your joker. Luckily, I see that yellow joker appear on the right there, and uh, I get to carry on without fear, without worry, that I just wasted my time for no reason. Bit of a traffic jam up ahead, that's always nice to see. Taking that corner pretty nicely. You want to really, like, have your nose going over that curve at the apex and then send it wide, slowly easing into the power. Catching up to the uh, the one bot, no problem. And then sending it around the outside. This is how you take it by. A little, I know, I turned in too soon, but it secured my position in front of you, so it was worth it. A little, little shunt from him there, no big deal. Went around this corner pretty nicely. These guys are all battling. Ooh, we're getting a violent battle up ahead there. Sending each other wide, just what I needed. So I'm hopefully going to take a position right here. Yeah, yeah, he could not recover, whoever that other fellow was. And we're going to be duking it out with the blue-eyed wolf, who actually hasn't even taken his joker yet, so... I'm kind of in front of him right now. Got my eyes fixed on the guy just past him instead. Uh, Reggae Shark, we have yet to be able to... I got in front of him briefly when he made a mistake, but... That was last race. I have yet to be able to keep up with this guy. There goes the blue-eyed wolf, leaving him, uh, leaving a uh, rather shark all alone to fend for himself. And I've got three laps to catch up. 
So we saw him exit the Joker and make a small mistake. It's real easy to make mistakes in these cars, so... Just gotta hope, the longer the race, the better your odds are of uh, making a mistake and catching someone else off theirs. Hopefully getting a good entry into this corner. You can see fourth gear into third tends to do the trick. And you have to be brave when you're sending it in. You want to send it straight and deep. And you can see I don't send it deep enough most of the time. Most of the time you can send it deeper and it's okay. He's going almost backwards around that corner. Taking it a little straighter. A little bit of uh, tire uh, peeling, but... Keeping, uh, keeping things under control for the most part. Keeping consistent times, getting thrown down. We got a 36 second best. It's not bad. I just know if I could get that corner right, there'd be a 35 in there probably. And here, this is the most dangerous thing you can do. I get up on the left, which can flip your car. In Dirt 4 and Dirt Rally, it was like notorious for flipping your car on the roof. So I'm really lucky I uh, kept it on the wheels eventually there. And what turned into a potential, you know, uh, shot at first if he made a mistake is now really a battle for second. Legit's right now in the rearview mirror. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he... I wouldn't... I wouldn't blame him if he wanted to murder me right now from what I did to him in one of the other heats. Although we did have words. Uh, you know, I was pretty rude at first with him, saying, like, you know, tip for tat, yada, 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 when he didn't really treat me that bad. But before this race, or the, a couple races ago, I said, I'm sorry. I said, uh, you know, I'll try and keep it clean. Sorry for lashing out. So at the, at the end of the day, we all were pretty good sports about this. This was just, uh, you know, a bit of rough racing at first, to be honest. A bit of poor racing, to be honest. We did a couple more rallies, though, after, so it's all good. We're all friends in the end. And it's looking like a reggae shark has locked down first place. I'll be lucky to get a second place here with legit right in my rear view, and the blue-eyed shark, right, or sorry, the blue-eyed wolf, my mistake, buddy, right behind him. So it was a pretty good race in the end. Pretty clean. Better than some of the other races. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. Plan B, man, come on, dude.